long rebounds and, and, and bounces and yeah. second chances. Yeah, it's tough. You know, we play, we play good defense. Uh, you know, PJ did a great job of coming in there, sneaking in, getting a lot of second chances. Capella did a great job of it. Um, that's, that's the part of when you shoot long, long threes. Uh, the ball bounces crazy ways. Um, so it's obviously frustrating because you play good D um, on the first shot. You want to limit them to one shot as much as possible. And, you know, the guy made some big plays. Um, that's why he's a guy that guys love to have on the team um, because it's not about necessary points, you know, for him. It's about the impact he makes. So definitely made a great impact today. Um, helped him win and win his ball game. Brian made a good point about Jeff's effort tonight that it'll do wonders for his confidence in a new setting that you guys really rely on him and need him. Could that help him? Yeah, I mean, when you know, when you're playing, um, when you come off the bench, um, you know, every game is different. You know, and you know, I think each guy has shown that some nights. Kyle have a big game. You know, Jeff has had a few. Um, I've had a few. So he's not as different. When you come off the bench, you know, it's sometimes your number get called. And tonight, Jeff's number was called. He continued to put pressure on him, continued to stay aggressive. Got into a rhythm, and we needed it. You know, we needed every point of it. So he was, he was amazing tonight for us. And, you know, we can't say, oh, we hope we do the next game. Because when you come off the bench, it could be someone else. But we hope to continue to get that production. You know, when we need big games or big, big moments off the bench, you know, that we got guys on there that can do it. As spectators, like it was looked like night and day compared to the early season with the effort. And I'm just curious, you guys you know, in this locker room, but how you've seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the tough part about it is when it doesn't result in wins all the time. Um, but you know, we're definitely getting there. We're definitely getting better. Had opportunity to win this game um, tonight. Um, but you know, in this league right now, with everyone scoring, you know, everyone's giving up a lot of points. Um, you know, this team shoots 45 threes a game. Is <laughs> unheard of. Um, but, you know, definitely everything is, is the communication is getting better. Only thing that's, you know, probably if anything that's hurting us is, you know, not, you know, like with Debo's being out and continue how to shift, you know, around our lineups and it kind of, um, you know, messes up some of the, the continuity. Um, but besides that, you know, everyone else is, we're all getting better. You, you guys are the, uh, the first team in almost 25 years to go 10 straight. Yeah. You're the first team in almost 25 years to give up 112. In 10 straight games. And I understand it's a different game for its pace, but are, are any of the defensive numbers, you know, kind of getting under your guys' skin a little bit at this point? You lead out the coaches. That's their job to get that under their skin. It's our job to go out and play and try to be better every game. Yeah, we did. I mean, they, uh, in the end, they got to a couple 50 50 balls and uh, made some big plays on their home floor. Um, and we gave ourselves a, a chance to win. Uh, we felt like we made some big plays, got some big stops, got ourselves back in the game um, early on, being down a big deficit. So uh, we so showed some resiliency, and um, you know, we felt like we could have won this game tonight against a very good team. And uh, you know, some good signs. We'll look at film, pick apart what we can do better, and take a step forward. Brown talked about the you know defensive communication continues to get better. Was this maybe one of the better ones in terms of that? Yeah, um, they're just a team that, that um, you know they give you a almost a different look than, than any other team in the league. They get so many three point attempts up, so you have to be able to cross match and cover different guys. We were trapping the ball, getting the ball out of Harden's hands, and making other guys make plays. A lot of swing, swing, uh, you know, hockey assist type plays. So. The communication and the talk had to be there, and we felt like a lot of times it, it was there tonight. But in some cases, there was broken plays, and um, in transition, uh, they're really good at, at, at advancing the ball and uh, getting the ball up, getting in the paint, and making the pass out. So, um, you know, it was tough. It was a close game for us uh, against a really good team. We felt like we could have won. When Jeff Green goes like 20 points in the quarter, I, mean, I assume you knew he was capable of that, yeah. but what does that do for you, everybody? Oh, that's great. We need him to do that. He's um, so good in transition. Um, whether he's running the floor, ducking in in the post, or just uh, you know using his athleticism to finish over smaller defenders. And tonight he showed what he's capable for us off the bench, and he was a, a huge, huge lift for us tonight. Shump at point guard, he seemed like he was pretty good in control at the beginning. <laughs> I hope that wasn't him, right? You know what I mean? Did, did you, I guess, Ty said you guys were sort of making some plans for him to bring the ball up. Yep. It looked like it worked well. Yeah, and we've had to adjust uh, really on the fly. I mean, Chump was only told this morning, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but, you know, he's... He, he was ready tonight to, to, to take the reins of the point guard spot, and 
we thought defensively he really brought it tonight. Uh, you know, showed poise and um, you know was was great and get us into our sets and pushing the pace. Um, I thought when Kevin, I thought when Kevin, um, you know, got in foul trouble and having to get him off the floor, um, they were still kind of big. So on the hearse on the glass and um, a few of them, we just, you know, they out tough us. I thought PJ Tucker really crashed, and you know, we didn't get a body on him. Um, so the offensive rebounds hurt us with turnovers as well. I obviously didn't result the way you wanted it to, but did you see your team Which turn the corner a bit? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you go ahead. Obviously, it didn't result in the win. But did you see your team turn the corner a bit throughout the game? I, mean, I thought I thought we competed. I thought we, you know, we got down early. It's a good team at home, and we fought back, took the lead, and um, made some adjustments. And um, I thought the guys really scrapped and competed. You know, and um, Harden, you know, he was hard. You know, made some good, tough one-on-one -on -one contested threes off the dribble, which we wanted, and um, we contested all of them. And we made some big shots. I would just see the free throw disparity tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was big. LeBron took 24 shots and only got uh, three free throw attempts. Did, did anything stand out about the way? Um, I can't remember. Did he, did he look any different to you at all after he turned out on the first quarter? Um, I have to go back and watch. I forgot he even, I forgot he even twisted his ankle a little bit. But, um, you know, it's not about Brown, it's about the team. I just thought we you know, did a good job of competing and, and fighting back. You know, a couple offensive rebounds here and there that, that really hurt us. You know, um, lose ball on the floor, we're down one. Capella gets to get a three-point play. So <laughs> things like that that are very correctable. Do you assess where your defense is right um, now? After tonight or just beforehand? <laughs> I mean, tonight, you know, I thought with the effort and energy, we play like that, you know, every night, I think we'll, we'll be a lot better. So, um, you know, we, they had a scramble around early because we was in the blitz and, you know, hard making those passes to Capella. He made some good passes, but you know, overall, I thought we, fly, we was flying around defensively and you know, trying to run guys off the three-point line, contested shots. So um, I'm not sure how many they made tonight. Sixteen. Um, yeah. So um, you know, James Harden, I think, made four or five of them off the dribble. So you know, which is, which is tough shots, but not for him. But um, that's kind of what we want. Did you see that second yours? Um, I call Jeff Green the utility man. We put him on the point. We put him on the five, and um, he did a great job of just you know switching, trying to contain Harden. And it's tough, you know, he's going to go and get into your body, you know, try to draw fouls. But you know, offensively, I thought Jeff played with pace, ran the floor, and really did a good job for his defense. We was able to change our matchups and change our schemes, and um, when he came in the game, it really helped us. Are you? I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but are you concerned about rebounding overall just without Tristan? I mean, it's, ball it's ball. tough, but you know we gotta do it collectively. You know I think we got guys who are capable of doing it, and um, you know until Tristan gets back, we know we're gonna be small, so we all gotta do it. What is that you showed showing you the last two games? Um, just you know his pace. I think you know cutting hard, screening. Um, you know um, defensively, I think he's doing a great job of getting into the ball and pressuring. So um, you know it's tough to ask Shumper to come in and just you know play back up point guard, but I thought he did a great job. I thought he really. Played under control. I thought he really did a good job of, you know, trying to contain and guard Harden, and he gave us good energy. Jeff, not the result that you guys wanted, but you gave yourselves a chance to win. Why were you guys able to put yourselves in that position? <clears throat> uh, started second quarter. Our defense uh, picked up. We got him to make uh, miss a lot of shots. Um, we got on transition, got easy looks. Um, so I think that's what got us back in the game. Why were you able to find your group there in that second quarter? Um, you know, I credit my teammates. Uh, they found me in transition. I was able to quickly get a you know a couple layups uh, to get a good rhythm, got to the free throw line, then uh, you know knock down open shot, and that, that set up everything else. Last couple games, uh, there was a big night from Wade, a big night from Jr., and a big night from you. What does that say about this group? Well, we have a lot of weapons. Um, you know, a lot of people knew that coming in. It was just a matter of time before you know each one of us got our rhythm. And any given night, one of us can explode. Um, you know, like myself uh, tonight, or you know, last game was Jr. Um, in the last couple of games um, before tonight, it was D Wade. Um, we got a lot of guys who can score uh, to take the pressure off 23. Uh, we got to continue to work together to, to keep the pressure off him, so he, he doesn't have to do everything.
Jeff, I don't even know. Have you ever had a game like that where you scored 20 in a quarter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't recall. But, you know, things are going for me. Uh, so. Mostly in transition. Yeah, it was a lot of transition. So, uh, that means we were getting stops. And that's how we got in the game. Is there a moment throughout this game tonight where you felt as a team you guys turned the corner? Second quarter. Um, with the defense, we were communicating. We were all on the same page. And we showed, you know, the athleticism uh, in transition and how everybody can be involved if we're sharing the ball and playing together. And we we showcased case that in the second quarter. Um, we kept it going throughout the game. Uh, you know, at the end of the game, we just gave up a lot of rebounds, which set us back. But um, you know, we we showed some glimpse of what we can be. When you guys were down 18, I think before you. Did anybody say anything, or did you feel like you guys were pulling together or something changed? Actually, nobody said anything. We just stayed with it. We stayed with the flow, and we continued to just uh, put the pressure on them. Uh, I think we, like I said, we picked it up defensively, and that allowed us to get in transition. And that got everybody involved, um, got everybody in a good rhythm, you know, and everybody started knocking down shots. And that's how it starts on the defensive end.